Hello, I'm Liz Jennings, Employer Engagement Specialist. I welcome all of you here today with Career Forces Explore Careers in Building Pro Products for February 23rd, 2021. I'm so glad to have all of you on. Every week in Explore Careers, we, we invite recruiters and uh, companies in a, a particular industry to talk about what they're seeing right now, what they're hiring for, um, how they approach training, how they're approaching COVID issues, um, and what you need to know to uh, apply and get a job in that industry. Within every industry, there's always a range of jobs. So I encourage you all to check back every single week, even though that industry might be slightly different than what you were expecting, know that to every industry, there's a range of positions. And in the same way, we'll be hearing all of those ranges today. Um, four companies that are joining us today are By the Yard, Cabinet Works Group, Schweder's Company and Carpentry Contractors Company. All of them have somewhat similar, but also slightly different opportunities to get you going in a job. So what are we talking about today? Well, certainly building product materials. There are positions like cabinetry makers, finished carpenters, installers, but when looking on every single one of their careers websites today for the Minnesota region, there were supplementary jobs, including drivers, warranty coordinators, packaging specialists, product engineers, sales, and other things. So as we go along, we're going to be talking about those carpentry and uh, finisher uh, jobs but we're also going to be kind of highlighting some of those other peripheral positions. I asked my labor market information colleague, Tim O'Neill for the, the metro area to give me a little bit of numbers. You know, in the past year or two, what are some of those lagging indicators that we look at at times, you know, ab about this industry that might give us a little bit more hint on where the industry is growing. In 2019, Minnesota had 565 establishments who said that they worked in this carpentry building products field. There were 2,500 jobs. Um, but what's really interesting is over 2014 to 2019, a five-year period, employment in this sector grew by 26.7%. And as we're gonna find out today from the recruiters, they've all told me they are all booming. COVID has given their industry a special kind of boost in that we are um, at home a lot more. We're improving our homes, people are buying homes. And so this is changing the nature of their industry. In green, I've got bulleted here. Employment in this industry, finished carpentry and framing contractors increased much faster over the past five years than other industries might have um, with all of the available data that we have. So um, keep this in mind that you might think, oh, you know, there are no jobs in labor or contracting or carpentry, but really there are. And at the same time, a number of initiatives have been started across the state um, to highlight all of these openings, especially if all of you on the call have um, young people in your lives. And I, I know I have uh, nieces and nephews and children and friends of children who are just at that cusp. They're trying to figure out, well, what are, where are they going to go? You know, are they going to go to college? Are they going to get an apprentice? What industry even? Where are they going? Um, there are three initiatives that I've highlighted right here. Project Built Minnesota. Um, their website is all about um, highlighting all of the jobs for young adults in that construction and carpentry industry. Two and Eight Trades is an initiative with the northern half of Minnesota. And it's not just for young people, but they're highlighting all of the opportunities for all ages, young and old, 
um, women and men, people of all races and incomes, um, there are jobs available. And Trades Hub, this is also another site that um, helps connect young people and schools and school personnel with those companies who may have scholarships or apprenticeships that are open to uh, people going into these industries. So keep that in mind as you're going along and you know you might hear a person think about um, going into this job or that job. Refer them to this video or some of these resources. Um, training programs. The one common denominator uh, from all four of our speakers today is that they all have a slide on training. They all provide on-the-job training for any of you. If you want to make a career change, you might say, oh, I've just dabbled in this, you know, but I don't have any real experience. Well, all of the companies today have training programs. However, I do want to point out, if you feel that you want to get formal training, or perhaps you're um, you know, you're, you're looking to really gain really solid background skills in any one of these areas. Know that the Midwest has a, um, a couple of really good resources. First of all, the Finishing Trades Institute of the Upper Midwest. Um, it's associated with the union, but it's a school. It's a fully accredited uh, trade school um, in, in the metro area. FTIUM.edu is their site. So take a look at that. But then also, Minnesota State College System has uh, programs all across the state. I was going to list a couple, and then as I was typing, there were just way too many. So I just provided you with the, the URL to the Minnesota State.edu, MinState.edu, and their campus programs. Do a search on a program in a location nearest you and then reach out to them. Also, for any and all background information at any time, whatever direction you are looking forward to going, um, go to careerforcemn.com, scroll down to the midpoint of the page, and there's a green bar across the, the middle. It says Explore Careers. Type in any job that you are thinking about going, and you'll be able to access any of these, um, this labor market information, association information, training program information. Quite honestly, this is where I get a lot of the resources that I provide. So always use that. But let's jump right in and hear from the recruiters this time um, about what they're hiring for, what their pay range, and what their training is and how to apply. So first person up, we have Mariah Jones of By the Yard. Mariah's with us today from Jordan, Minnesota, and she's willing and welcome to tell you everything about them. Mariah, are you there? I am here. Hello. Hey guys, um, as Liz said, I am Mariah. I am here to represent By the Yard. Um, I'll go over a lot of things high level, but if you guys have questions, throw them in the chat or um, connect with me at the end. The last slide has my contact info, so don't hesitate to reach out. Um, Liz, you want to hit the next slide? Perfect. So I want to give you guys kind of a high level of who we are and what we do, and then I'll provide some more details as we kind of work through this. So we create outdoor furniture. Um, it's actually made out of recycled material. So our company founders created the business in the early 90s. Um, their names are Deb and Roger and really just seeing a need um, in the market for better quality and sustainable furniture. They actually started the business right out of their home. Um, they tell a story that they used every part of their home except for the kitchen that was off limits to them um, and really grew their business just through Minnesota State Fair and malls and trade shows, which grew into who we are today. Um, we've got about 75 employees that are spread between Minnesota, Illinois, and our new venture in Wisconsin. One of the really neat things about our product um, being recycled is that we actually work with um, vendors to help recycle materials, um, primary sources, milk jugs. So you can see a little fun fact at the right, um, about 450 milk jugs would go into making one of our chairs that you see featured there in the middle. Liz, you wanna hit the next slide? 
think being a small family owned business, it's important to talk about who we are outside of our furniture. And one of our big initiatives is giving back to the community, um, specifically feeding the hungry. So you guys can see there, we've been supporting our local food shelves for over 25 years. A lot of different um, passions that we have and organizations that we work with. We actually were able to partner with the Jordan Food Shelf this past winter and donate over 2,000 items to them, um, just filling that gap. They've been really affected by COVID um, and haven't had as much community support and business support as they had in past years. Um, so we're really excited to be able to um, extend that to them and be a good source of um, food for them. Hit the next slide, please, Liz. So I want to get into a little bit more about what our product really is. Um, you guys can see there that we've had um, over 400 designs. We um, use a product, like I said, that works through various stages of moving from plastic scrap to these little beads. Um, and then that goes through color process and UV stabilization. Um, and then it's extruded into lumber board. So if you guys can envision um, like two by fours, it looks exactly like that, but it's actually made out of all recycled material, um, which like I said, the sustainability and then the no maintenance piece on that is really awesome. So because of how that product is made, um, all of our furniture comes with a 35 year warranty, which is pretty unheard of these days. Um, and all of the furniture is made in Jordan. So what we have set up in our production area is regular racking like you would see in a normal warehouse environment. And then through the various stages of production, we're actually making that furniture um, and able to ship that out. We've got a dedicated delivery team that'll actually um, work with customers, deliver that product and even set it up in their home. So not only, like I said, that sustainability, but then just the no maintenance that's needed. Um, you don't need to worry about storing it in your garage over the winter. You don't have to worry about the extreme heat. So it's a really appealing product um, for a lot of different environments. Next slide, Liz. So with that, I want to talk about some um, opportunities that we have right now. I'll say, you know, a lot of our friends and families have been negatively impacted by COVID and they've been displaced, um, but we've been really fortunate here and have actually seen really great growth. I think the way that homes fit into people's lives these days are really different. We're spending a lot of time at home and so we are rapidly expanding. Typically what we see for successful candidates are people who have backgrounds in carpentry, assembly, or woodworking. Um, but we also have a really nice training program and we're happy to take on candidates who just have a passion for maybe working with their hands. Maybe they work on vehicles in their spare time and they're just kind of good with tools. Um, we've got a really nice program to help you learn how to work with our materials and our Mariah, we just lost you. Am I back? Yep, there you are. Okay. Um, so one of our newest changes to staffing is that we are open to both part-time and full-time schedules and we're very flexible. So we completely understand that the way that work fits into people's lives is very different, not just because of COVID, but because people have children or maybe they're going to night school or whatever it is. And so we really have the opportunity to fit schedules to our team members that make sense for them whether that's 10 hours a week or 40 hours a week, and making schedules that work in a way um, for both of us. So you guys can see on the screen there, we've got um, our pay ranges displayed for both our day shift and our night shift. Um, and right now we've got probably 16 openings company wide. Um, so we are again, rapidly growing, um, just like I said, due to COVID and just due to what we've seen kind of changing in the industry. Um, you can hit the next slide. Thank you. Um, so here's my contact information. I'd love to connect with you guys one-on-one um, -on -one if you just want to learn more about our product or what a day in the life of any of our opportunities have. Um, please feel free to reach out. Like I said, even if you might not have a ton of experience in this actual industry, um, if you have a passion for us and you're willing to be an awesome team member, we're happy to talk about that and see if it might be a good fit. Thanks, I Mariah. A question there that I want to answer. Yeah, go ahead. Remote support. So at this time, we don't have remote positions. Um, we do have everything based out of a site. But again, because we're changing so rapidly, 
that may change. Um, if you want to send me your contact info, I'd love to just get your resume so I could keep that on file um, as we grow. Um, see what else I have here. How are customers typically purchasing your products? So our customers can either come into one of our showrooms. Um, we've got four different locations now. Um, otherwise, we have a website that they can do it, or they could call or email in. Um, we've got dedicated staff that will help them navigate through that purchase journey and get them the products that they need. So do you ever hire sales positions? We do, yep. So for our new store in um, Wisconsin, we've got openings there. Um, locally in Minnesota, we don't have any opportunities at this time. Okay. And so then when a person applies, should they send you their resume or do you prefer to just have an initial conversation and then, then ask for background materials? How do you, how do you go about that? No, I am super flexible. Um, you can contact me directly. You can look at our company site. You can check us out on Indeed. Um, I'm really, really flexible. We don't have a really formal recruiting process. Again, we're small family owned. Um, we're pretty flexible on that piece. That's great. Um, well, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Mariah's going to hang out for a little bit longer. So um, if any of you on the call have another question for her, feel free to put it in the chat, um, you know, to her or, you know, with her name and then she can answer it. But thank you, Mariah. Um, we're going to move on. I'm going to invite Jacob Lancaster of Carpentry Contractors Company to talk now about his company. Perfect. Thank you, Liz. Yeah, so I'm with Carpentry Contractors Company. We're a division of USLBM. USLBM is one of the largest building products distributors in the United States, and Carpentry Contractors is a um, one of the, the operating companies that's local here in Minnesota. Uh, started back in 1980 and joined USLBM back in 2011. So you can go ahead and do the next slide, Liz. Yeah, so a typical day in the job really depends upon which department because we have uh, multiple departments. We, we choose to specialize our labor to make sure that we're putting out high quality product. So with our framing, windows, and finish divisions, all of these are at the build sites in the Twin City suburban metro locations. We specifically don't have any build sites outside of that. So I know we get candidates occasionally that are asking, am I going to have to drive, you know, Rochester, Duluth? The answer is no. We're strictly in the Twin Cities metro area. Um, so framing, we do both stick and panel framing, depending upon uh, if our shop is able to handle that our, or if we need to build it all on site. Our window division is doing the house wrap as well as windows and doors getting those installed, making sure that they're uh, opening correctly, if they're uh, you know, sliding glass doors, anything like that, making sure that they're in there the way they should be. Everything's you know, top-notch quality and finish going around doing the trim work in all the different rooms in the homes, getting cabinets and countertops installed, stair railings, things like that. So we're doing lots of work with those three departments in each home. And then our prefab shop, is at our offices in Montrose. And so for these uh, positions, we have exterior wall lines, interior wall lines, and floor lines that we're building things. And so you can see a few of those uh, pictures there on the, the side, uh, the one with the, the lady holding the nail gun. She's working on a floor panel right there. In the bottom right corner, we've got one of our, our workers working on a, a wall panel. And then in the middle on the right side there, you can see those are uh, floor panel stacked up ready to go out to the job site to to get installed and so we're able to do all of that in Montrose and cut our build time in half in some instances out in the the field so it's a cool part of our our shop next slide please so why you should choose us we have great growth opportunities we have all kinds of possibilities with that we're a growing company looking to add uh, a ton of people, we're, we're looking to hire between 100 and 150 people. So I'm very busy trying to get as many people as possible. And so there are opportunities as we continue to add people to not only just um, 
continue to go from being uh, an entry level candidate, but to eventually get to a leadership role, if that's something that you're really looking for. And we understand that we want to help you with that. And so we sit down and we do uh, roughly four reviews a year just to go over with candidates. Hey, what are your goals? What are you wanting to get out of this job? What can we do to, to be a better employer? What can we do to, to help you along your, your career path? And so as part of that, um, we've got tons of growth opportunities. We have a great benefits package for all of our full-time employees, including all of those different items. Uh, and we're, we're looking to add and, and keep as many going as we can. Um, you know, this last year, one of the things that was really awesome is we were able to keep um, all of our benefit costs the same for our employees and the, the uh, corporate ate up the increased costs. They decided they were going to pay that and not transfer that on to the employees. So that's some really cool things that, that uh, we really like doing. And there's no experience needed. If you haven't done this before, that's okay. We've had lots of people do that. Uh, on the, the previous slide, the, the lady that was holding the nail gun, I know her personally, no experience whatsoever. Uh, I was the same way when I joined the company. I had no experience whatsoever. And we have an extensive training program dedicated to making sure that everyone is safe and they're coming in knowing how to use the tools, knowing how to do the job, and that they don't have to worry about getting hurt because we've got them trained enough that uh, they know how to do it properly and everyone's following those safety measures on the field as well. So next slide. Speaking of the training, we got three days of paid training right away. That'll be at our location in Montrose uh, going over um, all the different tools. Even if you've got some experience with them, different brands have different safety features in different places. So making sure that everyone understands all of the different aspects of the tool and where those safety features are at and how to use them properly. Um, different uh, uh, policies that we have in place just to, to make sure that everyone's going home the same way they came into work. After that, we got continued training at the job site, going through partnering up each new hire with someone who's been with the company for a while to answer any questions they might have to help solve any problems that come up and to continue helping them to build and, and get to the point where they're comfortable with the, the job that they've just started. Um, your career, your choice, you know, tell us where you want to go. We've, like I mentioned, got four, roughly four reviews every year that you'll be having with your, your manager. And you just got to let them know if you want to go from a, a carpenter to a lead carpenter or a foreman, that's awesome. We'll help you get there. You can see the, the progression path there on the right side of the, the uh, slide where we start off carpenter helper, work our way up and, and get where you want to be. Um, but it's not limited to just these labor positions because I, I personally started off at the prefab shop. I was a carpenter helper. I worked my way up, became a carpenter, and I got to the point where it's like, okay, I want to do something a little different. So I talked to the manager and uh, we worked out. Uh, there was an opening for working with the shop still, but doing more material ordering, scheduling, taking care of time clock, things like that for the shop positions. So I was able to move over into that. And then um, even after that, uh, I then moved on and, and started uh, doing what I'm doing now, which is the, the talent coordinator for the team. So there's lots of different opportunities to uh, move wherever it is you wanna go, whether it's design or HR, talent, um, we've got tons of opportunities. If you want to be an admin, we've got possibilities there as well. So you just got to let your manager know and we can make you aware of any openings and, and get you going on that path as well. And we offer ongoing training opportunities with that. So uh, we've got annual meetings that we do where we do just basic, um, basic trainings that we need to do every year with OSHA. But we also have opportunities where we can get you certified to be a forklift driver. We can get you uh, moving in different paths to help you progress in your job wherever it is that you want to be so that's that's uh really a cool thing so uh, jacob question coming in um what does the starting pay look like for a go-getter with no experience and then my question to take on that is how quickly then can you move up yeah so starting pay depends on the um the exact department you're going into for our field crews for no experience, we're looking at 15 to 16. Um, 
you know, even limited experience, we can get a little bit of bump in there. And then for our shop, uh, first shift, we're starting off around 16 and our second shift or weekend shift, because we have both of those, we do a $2 differential as well for full time. So you'd be looking at around 18 starting there full time. Um, as for, for how quickly you move up, we do have everyone in a probationary period for the first 90 days. And during that, you have two reviews, one at 45 and one at 90 days. Both of those are opportunity for raises. And it is, it's, uh, it's usually good raises. Um, you know, we, we don't typically do less than a quarter, um, but at those, we're really being able to gauge just how how you're going to mesh with the company. And so if you're coming in as a go-getter, proving that you are going to be with the company a long time, that you're a great individual, you're reliable, you're showing up on time every day, you could be looking at, you know, anywhere up to probably a dollar fifty. So it it's a, a big range just depending on um, what everyone uh, is able to do in those, those first few days. And they'll be able to talk with you too at that 45 and let you know, Hey, we saw this. We'd really like to see a little bit more of this too, and, and make it so that that 90 day review is a, is a really good raise as well. So yeah. And how you can apply with us, what we're looking for, um, eager to learn, eager to grow desire for safety and excellence. That's big with us. Uh, as you can see there in the, the picture in the upper right corner, our tagline is built on safety. That's huge. We, we really believe in safety being first. And so that's what we're looking for. Uh, we've got plenty of long-term opportunities like uh, uh, Dave Hegman was the first person we ever hired back in 1980. And he just recently retired a couple of years ago. And so he is, um, He's a, a great thing, a great example of what you can do with this company. He came in, he went where he wanted to go. He was one who he didn't ever want to leave the field. So he made it uh, to the foreman level. And we kept saying, Dave, do you want to come into the office? And he kept saying, no, I'm a carpenter. Leave me out here swinging a hammer. So we did. And we're, we are able to do that as well. Um, myself, I'm another example. Like I said, I started off in the shop and I moved my way up through other positions and, and got to where I am now. And I've only been with the company for, for six years. And so it's possible to move up quickly into different areas. Uh, you can definitely check out our website at carpentrycontractors.com and click on the careers tab to find all of our different openings that are current. Some of them um, are pretty much ongoing with our, our labor crews, but we do have a couple that aren't necessarily carpentry path. I know somebody was asking in the comments if they had to do the carpentry path for admin positions, and that is no, you don't have to. Uh, it doesn't make a, doesn't make any difference for us, but you know we we are looking for people that are willing to to learn those different things. Um, and if the, the different positions I've talked about today don't interest you, you can definitely chalk check out USLBM, our parent company, and look over all the positions all over Minnesota, or if you're looking to move somewhere else, you know, we've got locations, and I believe we're up to 23 different states, so you can check them out as well, and if you want to contact me, you can email me at careers at carpentrycontractors.com, and I'll get back to you, or you can send a text or uh, give me a call at the, the phone number there on the right side of the screen. I'll get back to you. Um, I did see that someone was asking if we have positions that are seasonal. We do seasonal positions around the summer. So we're getting ready to ramp up hiring for those, but we have plenty of year round work as well. That 100 to 150 people that I was talking about, those are year round positions, not just seasonal positions. We'll have even more with that as well. But I think that's all the questions that were in the, in the chat as well for me. Thank you. Yeah, Jacob, thank you for all of that. Um, there is there is one more question that maybe you can, um, I think there is. Uh, Colin was asking about um, tips for applying online to your positions, but what I'd like is if you could type the answer to that because I'd like to move on now um, yeah. and invite Bobby Hammonds with Schweeters companies to talk about his company's um, hiring and things. So um, all of these questions are really great and all of the recruiters are answering all of the questions, which is fantastic. So Bobby, all yours. Awesome, thank you, Liz. 
Uh, welcome everybody. Good afternoon. I am the recruiter for Schweder's company. Um, if you want to go to the next slide, Liz. So a little bit about us. So we started about 39 years ago. Um, Joel, who is our founder and president, um, started finishing houses out of his truck, ended up doing about 40 houses his first year and realized there's, there's a business to this. Um, grew his team to what we are now. Um, and now we try to say that we're a one-stop shop for um, your finished carpentry needs. So not only do we have our finished carpenters on the field installing product, we're also making the product as well. So we do have our millwork and pre-finished division with us. Um, so I can talk a little high level on those positions as well. Um, but for our pre-finished, so that's where we're doing all of our sanding and our staining and painting for all of our trim and door um, products. And then we also have our millwork division, which is creating all the doors. And then what we like to call hoops for our um, construction commercial side. Um, and then with that, we also have a design studio within our millwork division, and then we also have our training facility. So um, we have about 160 people with our company currently. They are all full time. So all the positions that we have available right now are all full time opportunities and everybody with our company is also full time as well. 90 about 90 of those are going to be our finished carpenters. So those are going to be the bulk of our employee base. Um, so with that, so we do have first and third shift handlers that we're looking to hire for. Our first shift is usually 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., Monday through Friday, and that'll be at our corporate office area or campus um, in Hugo, Minnesota. And then our third shift is going to be a 5 p.m. to 3.30 a.m., and that's going to be a Monday through Thursday, so 4.10. So if anybody has any questions on those millwork material handler positions, um, you can definitely reach out to me for them. Um, and then for our finished carpentry department, so that's where we're looking to do majority of our, our recruiting and our hiring for this year. So we're looking to add about probably 15 to 20 more finished carpenters. Again, um, our carpenters start out at anywhere from 17 to 25, and then usually that 25 plus range is going to be the foreman status. And typical hours on a 40 week, 40 hour week is 6 a.m. to 2.30, Monday through Friday. And then when we're on 10 hour days, we're usually looking 6 a.m. to 4.30 and just kind of go with that as well. Um, and so our majority of our work is going to be within that 494, 694 loop, so the Twin Cities area. So I would say probably as far as south as Hastings to as far as um, Lionel Lakes up the north. Um, so definitely in the metro area. Um, and then if you want to go to the next slide. So a little bit about our benefits for our finished carpet. So um, like I said, we do take entry level um, people that are switching careers, going to different um, departments or just kind of wanting to work with their hands. Um, we take all ranges of experiences. Um, with that is because we have a great training facility and a great training program that we have with our company. So a little bit about our benefits. So every power tool that you have is supplied by our company and we use DeWalt as a brand. Um, everybody gets a company tablet, which is where you get your blueprints, your safety sheets, um, email, phone, everything for communication wise. Vacation, first year is 40 hours. And then medical and dental insurance, which we're really proud to say, um, just because we value obviously safety and we're in the construction industry, but our monthly premium is paid for by the company. Um, so that's a great benefit um, for those looking for medical and dental insurance. And then um, miscellaneous insurance is reduced at a reduced rate. So that's vision, short term, disability, accident, life insurance. Um, we do get paid weekly. Um, and then usually at that six month mark, um, we issue a gas card to those finished carpenters that are in our program um, that are doing a great job showing up on time. Um, quality is there, production is there, everything's going good. And that's just a supplement um, from driving to different job sites. Um, generally, we have a labor manager that likes to keep everybody within that 30 to 40 minute range of their home. Um, because we're not that type of company that's going to be like, hey, we've got a job out in Fargo or we have a job in Red Wing and we need to go down there for a week or you got to stay in a hotel. Like I said, most of our jobs are within the, the metro area. And then opportunity to earn a company vehicle, that's when you kind of get into our um, 
foreman program. Um, so we have like a foreman and trading program that um, helps with that, that you can end up earning um, a company vehicle with us. So with that, you can go to the next slide, Liz. So our training and mentor program. So this is something I really like to talk about. This is something that I monitor. So no matter what um, level you come in with um, at our company, um, we schedule um, a mentor to be with you for those first six months to a year, depending on how fast you learn and kind of your skill level. So with that, every month I reach out to um, the new employee and then also the mentor and just kind of get feedback, say how it's going from the employee, make sure that they're getting all the resources that they need, all the questions that they need answered, and basically just make sure that everything is going good for that for that new employee. And then I'm also reaching out to that mentor, just seeing how quickly they're learning, if they're going from um, trimming one bedroom a day to two bedrooms a day, um, if they're learning on cabinets, if they're going and doing a different skill. I kind of monitor that every time. So every time they do go into that next level, that's when they get a pay increase. Um, and so we'd, like I said, we monitor that for the first year. Um, so there could be um, up to, 12 different opportunities of a pay increase for that, that finished carpenter if they're if they're showing up on time, being efficient, doing quality work, um, and just being an overall um, general great, great employee. And then with that, we have a training facility. So we just added a new building onto our campus up here in Hugo. And it basically looks like a college classroom, as you can see. Basically, we've got um, base trim, door trim, installing doors, window trim, installing windows. Um, just kind of to get everybody's skill up to where they need to be. So if there's ever downtime in the field or if there's certain areas that someone maybe needs more help on and they need one-on-one -on -one coaching with one of our trainers, um, we're, we're available to do that for, for that employee. And then next slide. Awesome. Um, so like I said, um, we take anybody with any experience. So if anybody's looking to get in that trade, um, definitely reach out to me. You can either reach out to me by email or by phone, um, and we can definitely have a conversation and kind of do um, an in-person interview as well to kind of show you exactly what, what we do. So, and I think I forgot to mention, so everything interior finish wise we do inside a home is pretty much everything wood except for the floors and the stairs. We'll do like the stair railings um, and the side skirts on the stairs, but just not um, floors or stairs, but everything else like base and window trim, doors, hardware, vanities, cabinets, bathroom accessories, stuff like that is what we do. Great. Thank you, Bobby. Yeah, I could use one of your employees over at my house, so I might give you a call. Um, how are you approaching COVID? We haven't even talked about that yet yeah. in the past 40 minutes. What are, what are some of the things that you are doing for your staff? So we have a designated um, tools and safety specialist um, for all of our finished carpenters on the field. And basically anytime a tool breaks, anytime they need uh, material or anytime um, they need anything related to like a mask or maybe a glasses or anything safety related, um, he's our go-to person that goes to the different job sites. Um, I would say it's pretty strict on job sites right now. Um, as we specialize in only new construction, so we're only on the new construction side. Um, it's very strict as far as wearing your mask, safety regulations, everything like that. So, um, and then here, even at the office for our corporate positions, um, people are supposed to be designated on their same floor. Um, within our buildings, restricting going into different buildings on our campus, um, we're taking pretty, pretty high precautions for COVID. Right, thank you. What are mm -hmm. some of the keywords or uh, th uh, things that you look for when a person applies? You know, when they send in a resume, uh, what do you want it to look like? Yeah, so basically our four keys that we live by um, and kind of our mission statement with, with our company is safety, efficiency, impression, and relationship. So when I'm looking at a resume, I want someone that's um, just kind of looks like they're dedicated to the business that they're going into. Um, a lot of people will write um, cover letters to me just because they're, they might be in the corporate world looking to get into a trade or 
they're just kind of changing completely different career fields. And when they send me that cover letter, they let me know that, hey, this is a career change for me. I'd like to just reach out for information or to get me started on a career path to be a finished carpenter or to be in the carpentry industry. That kind of helps me a lot because um, I've had a lot of conversations, too, that maybe somebody doesn't have any carpentry experience, but they want to get into it. We have a general labor position that we hire for. And typically that labor position is anywhere from eight months to 16 months, depending on how quickly you learn and obviously all your work ethic. Um, but that's the position that we usually start people off that are doing a complete change. And basically what you do is you work alongside that finished carpenter. Um, while that finished carpenter, if they're new, maybe they're working alongside a mentor. Um, but basically you work alongside that um, finished carpenter. So Half the job you'd be like unloading product and helping our delivery drivers and bringing the material into the building. And then that other half would be working with that finished carpenter to see what skills they can pass on or help them with insulation on maybe doors or cabinets and kind of getting that entry level um, taste of becoming a finished carpenter. And then from there, that's when you'd be graduated into our finished carpentry program, which then we put on our mentor mentee training program to then obviously increase your skills and move up with the company. Great, thank you. Yeah, I love to hear, you know, the plan when when companies have that plan and that system in mind. So, hey, thank you very much for being here yeah. today. Bobby's gonna be on a couple of job fairs coming up around the Twin Cities too. I've got information about that at the end, as well as Jacob and others. So we'll mention those coming up, but let's move on. Um, I'd like to welcome Eleonora Medina with Cabinet Works Group now. Um, welcome, Eleonora. Thank you, Liz. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, let's talk about Cabinet Works Group. It's the largest independently owned manufacturer and distributor of cabinets in the United States. So our business is built on a strong relationship with dealers, home centers, single family and multi-family home builders. Um, the headquarters is located in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and we have about 26 facilities around the United States. And we're going to talk basically about Waconia office. So the Waconia or the Waconia plant is, um, we have about 450 employees. We also have in the campus all three other buildings. One is the bus building that we call bus because it's the warehouse. Also, we have offices. They have employees. They do the customer service. They do the logistics and other type of um, jobs, more office um, and more office in, in, in more office lo location. But the thing is that we have 9,000 employees around the whole United States. And again, my interest today is bring to the plan the main, the labor that we're looking for. So the next slide is, please. The day-to-day -day cabinet works group. So we had the production team members they work in different aspects and different equipment. They use drills, nails, guns. Uh, we also have the employees working in the finishing department. They use sand blocks. They use um, racks to wipe the excess of the paint. And also, in the meantime, they're going to learn to spray and do the finishing work for all those pieces gone they do the cabinet or they conform the cabinet. Um, so we also have opportunities and setup. Setup is a department that we use the tickets or the orders. So those employees, they're gonna be trained to read the specifications of each order so they can move those pieces to finishing department or assembly. Assembly is a department that they do all this um, put those pieces together and build the cabinet. And after that, the cabinet, when it's built, is moved to the accessory pack when they put all the pieces together that compound the cabinet. And after that, it's gonna be packed completely 
and set out, sent to shipping. Shipping is the last part of this um, particular process, and after that is moving on to the trucks. So in the finishing department, obviously, they're going to use boxes, they're going to use tape. It's easy job, but I'm, I can tell you this, it's very fast paced. Okay, job requirements for production team members, read tape measurement. Uh, the tape measure is important, obviously, in the building department, also in uh, mill room. It's those elements that definitely we use every single minute. Ticket is something that we're going to look everywhere, so they move all the pieces in a correct order and make sure all the cabinets have the right parts for the order to be shipped. Okay, the next slide, please. Training. Training is very important for us. We don't have a specific time to train the employees. We just want to make sure that every single employee is trained or is coached by the employees that have more experience or skills in each department or area that they're located. What are they looking for? They have a specific goals. They're looking for the capability, capacity, and productivity, and also obtain the performance that we're looking for. When they training the new hires, we always encourage them to bring or think about the quality and also the safety. Those are the keys for the success and bring those beautiful cabinets with the good quality and the high sales that we have at this point. Continue to the next slide, please. Benefits. Our new hires receive the benefits after 60 days of employment. So we offer a competitive base pay starting in 1750 per hour. We also offer shift differential. It's going to be $1 for second shift. And for the third shift, we have $2 shift differential. The 401k, the company offer this um, benefit for automatically deduction of 4%, and the company match 50% up to 6% of the contribution. We also offer three medical plans, one dental and one vision plan, supplemental life insurance, and also basic life insurance that is paid by the company. Company also pay short-term disability and long-term disability is paid by the employee. Um, we offer vacation in the first year. So let's say you are hired in February. You will receive seven, 72 hours after 60 days of employment for this year because we prorated the vacation time. And next year, January 1st, you will receive 80 hours of vacation time. We also have 11 holidays throughout the year and starting the pay on day one. We have excellent products, absolutely, and we offer discounts for the employees. Next slide, please. Okay, what job opportunities we have? Builders, so those are the ones that had the hand tools to do the assembly or put all these pieces together to make the cabinet. Machine operators, uh, some of them are all going to operate saw machines, wood or wood cutting uh, equipment. Sprayers, I mentioned before, they wipe sand and spray the finishing of the, all the parts that conform out. They're part of the cabinet. Packagers, they are in the package area. So they're gonna put the cabinet that is already made or assembled. It's an assembly. After that, they put all the accessories and everything is going with the cabinet to be shipped. Loaders, those are the employees. They're gonna move the cabinet to the trucks. Uh, we are offering about 50 positions. Most of what well, we are open to full-time and part-time employees. We also offer seasonal 
and students. We have about three or four uh, seasonal employees. They we call seasonal, but they're students. They go to the university, and every single break that they have, they come back over here, and um, definitely they enjoy to work with us. That they've been here for two or three years already. Uh, next one, please, please. How to apply? So this is the website. Uh, there you're gonna find opportunities for all the plans, office, um, also for the headquarters. If you wanna apply for Waconia specific, we have remote jobs, absolutely. But you're gonna find those in Cabinet Works Group. If you wanna work in Waconia, you just stop by Monday to Friday, we are here in 180 Industrial Boulevard. We're gonna have the interview and you can walk with an offer and it start next day or the day after. Um, if you have questions, uh, you can contact me. My, um, cell, my cell phone or my phone is there. Also my um, email and also Dustin, he's helping me doing the recruitment part and that's all I have. One more thing that I want to mention, actually, we have an on site hiring event. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. <laughs> so that is going to be on February 27 between 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. So every single person who wants to walk in and have a tour, absolutely, we can do tours and know about the jobs. I think that's all I have. Oh, COVID. Let's talk about COVID too. Mm -hmm. So, um, obviously, we wear masks to protect ourselves. Uh, also, keeping the distance always. Even though that we have 415 employees, we accommodate the plan. So, that way, we have separation between some employees. Um, for the orientation room or every single room that we have, we congregate people. We put the um, dividers. Those are the plastic dividers that you can see in um, most of the stores. So that way we continue that space, personal space, and we disinfect. We have a crew that they they work over here as a let's say in the finishing department, but they offer to clean the plant and uh, all the surfaces and dirty. Okay, so that's all I have for now. Great, thank you too for uh, you know telling us a little bit more about how you're keeping your employees safe, um, because that re really is critical. Um, I wanted to point out to um, everyone on the call that I found the information, or or, or Eleanor has the information about their on-site hiring event, right on their careers page. So it's listed as a regular job. So if you want to find more information there, um, you can just go to their Cabinet Works group, and then. You know, look for Waconia, and then they have the you know, their information there. Um, but please get the word out to other um, job seekers. And you know, I was thinking, Eleonora, this would be great for um, students graduating. This you know, high school students graduating in um, May or June who are eighteen, then work all summer, and then even if they do go to college, they'd be able to come back and work with you. And I think that's fantastic. Absolutely. Um, I always uh, had people of, of students actually, and they were afraid to apply. They don't know how to do interviews. So what I do is, is just give them the opportunity to talk. Say, let's say they don't have any experience, any interviews in life. Actually, I had one of them. They came. She came yesterday. She's um, a very young lady, and she say, "I never did an interview. I'm very nervous." And I said, "Don't worry. Let's talk." Let's talk what you want to do and uh, let's see what is the schedule that you're looking for. And uh, at that point, I decide to move her to finishing department because that's the department they can start learning about the different colors, shapes, everything about the wood. Yeah, that's great. And, you know, the, the recruiters like you and all, all of you, 
Jacob, Mariah, Bobby on this call. Um, I know that that's what you do, you know, and I have the conversation with the people. So um, thank you for being on the call today to all of you. Um, I want to just uh, remind callers on the call that Career Force in Minnesota works. We're the same team. We have, you know, similar ways of helping you look for a job. So whether you go to careerforcemn.com or you go to Minnesota Works, type in those keywords, you know, whether it's finished carpenter or assembler or supervisor or foreman or anything else, and you'll be able to look for the jobs that are open in your location. Perhaps you are not so close to Waconia, um, but, you know, type in your zip code or your county and then look in that respect. Okay, so a few minutes ago, I mentioned a couple of job fairs. Right now, right at 3.30, when you hop off this call, I invite all of you to jump right on to um, my colleagues over at MetroRegionInteractive.EasyVirtualFair. I'm going to type that in the chat right now so you have it. Um, but they've got a job fair going on in the transportation industry. I'm typing... There you go. Um, jump right over. The, it's going to be going on till five o'clock. I checked in a couple of weeks on them and within a minute of checking in, a couple of recruiters messaged me and uh, to engage in a conversation. I had to let them know that I wasn't personally job seeking, but um, my point is go over there. They're super responsive. Um, and you can see the companies that are participating today. And also our colleagues at in Blaine in Anoka, they're having a virtual hiring uh, event next, uh, well, tomorrow, I guess, Wednesday the 24th at 1030. Same type of platform um, with these companies. And that was the one where I mentioned that Schweders was taking place, uh, taking part. So connect with them. Um, they've got jobs all across the Northern Metro. Career Force has a number of upcoming virtual workshops, whether it's uh, write, writing a resume or doing more career exploration or um, uh, exploring the job interview, just getting over that hump if you haven't interviewed for a while. So these are some of the upcoming dates, February 24th, 25th, and then the following week. Um, go to our virtual interactive services page for that. My Explore Careers upcoming workshops next week, we're going, well, the next couple of weeks, we're continuing the construction and uh, the construction industry, basically. Next week is utilities contracting services. The week after that, um, we're going to be partnering with the Women in Construction Week through the National Association of Women in Construction. Um, so that's fun. All week there are events all over the Twin Cities and virtually all over. And then March 16th, we're going to completely switch gears and learn about the financial and retirement services industries. And after that, I'm still scheduling. So let us help you on your job search. At any time, contact careerforcemn.com and go to your locations to find a job counselor nearest to you. Or you know very well, you can always contact me liz.jennings at state.mn.us, and I'll try to get those resources out to you. So I look forward to seeing you next week. Please contact us and uh, keep, keep up the effort in your job search. Thanks a lot.